here at Daytona Beach in Formula Pro. We're underway for 60 minutes. Let's go do this. A little bit of contact in the background as they're all trying to fin up, funnel their way through. Bit of contact with Petter Berliak there, but at the moment it's still a team red line one, two. Nowhere to go, which may be encouraged. Oh, as we Bonner see, House. that is Bono. Bono's gone off. Apologies to Bono House because that is the second time that I've called that as being Bono House, but it is in fact Look Yano. In. This is what happened then to Yano Otmir. So a dive down the inside, Marcel Chinchik made contact and that sent Yano Otmir straight out into the barrier. We'll ride on board with Opmir in all of this, and he has nowhere to go. Well, here we go. Dennis Jordan is going to make the move on Marcel Chintik, and he's also being pushed through by David Morocek. Super move from the pair of them, just using the slipstream. Dennis Jordan heads to the front of the group. I wonder if there's a mistake there, maybe a bit of contact. We'll see. Here we come, though, Fiducci making his way up now. He's into eighth. He's ahead of Hoyer, who we were just speaking of. Uh, obviously, races. Oh, Ooh, there is the mistake from Michi Hoyer, the touring car superstar. Gianmarco Fiducci, the Italian, down the inside. We're looking at Fiducci. Ducci now, he's going to make a move on Bono House. I don't think Bono's going to do too much to try and stop it. Keep an eye as well, of course, on the position of his teammate Nuno Pinto. We are going to see him. I think they are actually running quite heavy. There is oh, the... Whoa, whoa. Liam Deval still holding on around the outside of Ner Reuvers. And here comes the move then. Ibrahim Khan uh, battling it out with Dennis Jordan. It's Dennis Jordan making that position up, thinking now is the time to charge. But Ibrahim Khan's not going to give it up. They're going to go side by side down into the first corner. This has got to be onto six. It is wet tyres. You can see those are wet tyres. The blue wall tyres. Is that too early? I, I I think it might be fuel, Lewis. I think they've gone for 40 minutes. There it is. Simoncic into the pits. Jordan, I'm sure, will be in behind. So will David Mrocek, uh, Kevin Siggy. And yet, indeed, he has retaken the lead from Simoncic. And Dennis Jordan over the curbs there. That's Petter Burlak in 13th. Getting very squirrely. Petter Burlak and one of the Netrex cars coming out of the pits. Is that Reuvers, Lewis? Uh, yes. Uh, no, it would be oh. the Colin Spork. This and is... Yeah, one of them's going to have to back out soon. Is a dry bit just by the wall, which you'd actually Ooh. see here, which would affect the turn-in. Here comes Gianni Simoncic, Simoncic then to try and take over over third position and Alex Siebel doesn't fight it at all. You can see the spray coming up behind Petter Berlax Williams as he heads to the outside of Mohamed Patel for P11. Ooh. Almost a bit of contact. Can he get it slowed down? It's a tricky braking zone in the dry, let alone in the wet but he does get it stopped. Here comes Morocek then to look to the outside. As soon as he pulls out of that BS competition car, uh, he's clearly running a bit more downforce uh, than the Scotsman, who's on the inside, who commits to the Turn 1 braking zone. Great move there from David Morocek. Is he going to pull it up? Lovely stuff. And this looks like Erhan Yovsky. It goes from bad to worse for R8G. Here's another uh, probably yellow flag that we saw earlier, and that would have probably been the Sector 2-1 oh. and Adam Maguire. You could see it coming. It's the incident we talked about in the chicane. To cross the line here at Daytona, Kevin Siggy becomes the the third different winner of 2022 ahead of his teammate Jeffrey Rietveld. Jernay Simicic rounds out the podium to make it yet another podium for Jernay Simicic's second consecutive one this year and I think it's fourth overall.